Ah, oh, punch the microphone. Hello, welcome to the Bluescast. You are listening to... I can't even say the name of a brand anymore because we're fully independent. It's Tim and Ben with you, back with another episode of... The the no we haven't won the awards yet so I can't even say that yet either, to be I? critically acclaimed yet to podcast. be critically acclaimed voted unofficially best by ourselves voted by us the best <laughs> unofficial Birmingham City podcast it's us and those people um, from Sports Radio Birmingham who dedicate a whole radio station to it so I feel like it's tough competition but we've got them on this we've got them you know yeah uh, they might ha- they have a studio in their house it's crazy anyway this isn't about studios this podcast is about Birmingham City. Oh, we've got a massive episode of Sink Our Teeth Into. We're going to be talking about the weekend result, a brilliant comeback uh, against Ipswich, which Ben witnessed in person and I saw on the Sky Sports highlights. Because I, what was I doing on Saturday? I what think were you doing? I was. I think I was hanging with my sister because it was she's she's back from Oxford, which was quite exciting. And um, also, me and Ben were down at Birmingham City Ladies yesterday. So we've got live interview, live interviews. We've got interviews from Mark Skinner. The the holy saviour Mark Skinner who needs I don't know, do I have like an angelic I feel like I should have an angelic choir every time I say Mark Skinner's name uh, and then we're also going to be uh, bringing you an interview with Aoife Mannion who's amazing remember my name which is really exciting and getting a lowdown on what Jax McComer has been getting up to at the Birmingham City changing ground changing ground changing room at the training ground but first of all uh, the two 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 Ipswich Oh, we just talked about this on Forward Factor, which is that other podcasty thing you can check out on YouTube and such. Basically, just a really feel-good game for Blues, Ben, because for the one time that we actually concede goals and start lacking in that department defensively, we managed to score two and come from 2-0 down as well at home. Yeah, which is very rare, I think. And it was only feel-good after half-time because I think the first half was probably... Yeah, you were saying it was, it's ter- it was harking terrible. back to some of the dark days. I thought the the dark is in like Lee Clark dark or uh, around that I reckon. Yeah, Jesus Christ! It was just there was no sort of you know fight or spirit there. There was no yeah. signs that they were up for it. Which I think when you're playing at home, that's what you need. Mm. Whereas when they came out second half, they got the early goal and Ipswich. You know, they had so much against them from then on. Momentum mm. was fully with us, and every time we went forward, we looked like scoring. I think in the end yeah. we had 22 shots to their lot. Like, seven or eight I mean it doesn't, it doesn't really tell the full story of how much yeah. we dominated that game um, but I think it's positive in terms of that you know we came back from 2-0 down I don't think we would have done that in some seasons gone by um, but it just shows that there is quality still there and we we yet to find our our full form really I think and <clears throat> because we're on quite a good run at the moment aren't we like, we're, we're still we unbeaten a, yeah we're, we're unbeaten what with a in longest unbeaten run in the league, I think. Really? Yeah. Since when? Like, since since I last uh, lost was up against Bolton away. Because I, I, f- I thought we were losing loads at the start of the season. We were, and then we, we lost we've, it. we've drawn loads and won one. That's basically what's That's happened. That's the Birmingham City way. Just draw but a load of games and then we're it looks points, like you're so it's, it's kind of working. Points mean prizes, kids. That's exactly. what we need to there remember. There you go. Um, so, and going forward, like, a big shout out to Brummy Joe, who's um, yeah. a YouTuber, got his, right, his assessment of the game kind of went a little bit viral because he was like Gary Monk answer my prayers Malo- Maloney it was wasn't uh, it Mahoney, Mahoney. Mahoney yeah Mahoney who who kind of reminds me of Baloney the meat I or think. post post Maloney. or post Maloney <gasps> post Mahoney I don't know that's the title of this episode yes post Maloney you have fun editing I'm, I'm noting that, that down noting that down Ben we're, we're creating on the spot this is what the blues cast is like it's like a, an apple creative meeting or something <laughs> I'd say, I'd say like an Elon Musk style Tesla one, but he has to resign that, now. Why has he resign? What's going it's on? Crazy there? stuff, man. Um, he called he called someone like a paedophile with no no. I, was, al- I saw that. Like that was absolutely order, but... no evidence or basis. But anyway, aside from Elon Musk, um, <laughs> wait, what were we talking about? M- Mahoney. Mahoney. Post post Mahoney, um, brought on as a sub, and I even like noticed this in the highlights. Just in, had that kind of punch of energy yeah. into the Blues midfield which we, we have been lacking since the likes of I don't know yeah, even back when like Chris Burke left and Cottrell obviously had such a difficult yeah. time um, it, could he be that player for us when Hot is not I think he could I think, I think uh, there are some comparisons to those types of players like the Burks the, the Cottrells uh, yeah. um, is, he, is he wider or central he's a wide player yeah, wide so they, player, they yeah. move Hotter into the middle and I think that's when we played, you know, started playing really well then Yeah, um, he's, he's very direct I think um, he just likes to get past players and take people on and he gets some good crosses in, and I think yeah. from that, I think we had a corner or something which led to the goal. Um, yeah. But every time he went, he went forward, 
I don't think he lost the ball once every time he took, uh, took a player on. It's so just like it's like when you used to watch in, uh, you used to watch Nathan Redmond, and whenever yeah. he gets the ball, the whole ground's like oh, because you know he he's not like going to lose it. And I guess he's that kind of player. Um, it, it was the first time I saw him as well, um, so I didn't know what to expect from him. But yeah. after that, I was really excited by what I saw. So the first time I saw Damari Gray, he was rubbish as well. So that's something. Is his first name Connor? Connor Mahoney. Yeah. Great from Bournemouth. I'm looking him up on Ultimate Team for, yeah. Foothead. Big shout out to yeah. Foothead. Because sponsor this us. way, yeah, sponsor us for head. This way, we can tell how good what he is. Was he 67? 76 right? pace. Oh my god, this is a this is a good solid silver player. He's 4,800 on Ultimate Team, but that's going to be FIFA 19. Or, oh no, this is FIFA 18. So it's not even so a new he's one. He's probably even better than that. Though. He's probably even better. Yeah, he's been upgraded. He he was doing really well last season. Then, yeah, he just seems like a great wing player, and he's quite young as well, then, isn't he? If he's loaned to us. Yeah, he must be. Um... But can, Foothead can, can give us the give us the juice. Twenty years old, 20 great, years younger old. than me. You can, tell, you can tell he's come from Bournemouth though, because he is going forward. He is he's amazing. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. unlike most of the Blues players. <laughs> what year were you born, Ben? Ninety-seven. What January? What, what, what January? Yeah. Oh, he's like a month younger than you. He's young when he's playing for Blues. I mean, I mean it's it's just like it's Ju- done before, but you know, it's like Dua Lipa is like twenty-three. Twenty-three. Or something, yeah. So you've got two years to be a superstar, basically. I'll see what I can singing, do. Worldwide singing sensation. Um. But aside from that, I think there's, it just feels like a positive atmosphere at the moment at Blues. And we were commenting on the um, forward factor before with Victoria, who's a, a Villa fan. We're now next to Villa in a table. Villa game coming up in November. Yeah. If we can keep that gap close, you never know what's going to happen with Villa. We can only focus on winning ourselves. That could be a real, you know, a six-pointer that sets a nice gap between us and them if we get ahead. I am really looking forward to it because I think we can. A tasty affair. I think we can. Should we try and go? Are tickets season? on sale yet? Um... I don't think they are, but it's, I, it's away, so it will be day, difficult. So. Away-day okay. vlog, imagine that. I, no, this is the thing. Like, If we I was going to do, if we were going to do an away-day vlog, I think we did one at um, Wembley, weren't it? Wembley. Yeah. I just, like, so many people do them. I'd want to do something a bit different, like the, the tone, mm. the style of editing, you know? I don't want it to just be like, oh, we're going down with the blues, and now we're in the <laughs> away, and now we're filming ourselves celebrating. Because, I mean, why would you do that when David Birmingham is... A legend in the community. He, he can't does, compete with that. Yeah, it's a, it's like I don't want to be a Dave O'Birmingham because I'm never going to be as good as Dave O'Birmingham. I want to be a, a Tim Senna, a, a Ben Tyler. Ben Tyler, come on. We're gonna do. We'll think of something to do. Uh, we're just gonna buy tickets because the club press don't like us. Maybe Villa would let us in. Shall I try that? Something I don't think I'll go down but too basi- well. But no, basically, I'm our, try no, 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 our own club it, won't in let us in on the media area. But they, because they don't have space and broadcasting rights and stuff because we keep wanting to film <laughs> interviews which is unreasonable but if with Villa maybe they'll let us in because they've got loads of free spaces whenever I go down there oh Hostel there's some radio, free spaces at Villa yeah, yeah. yeah whenever I go to Hostel That's Radio good, it's, it's good everyone's show, there so yeah I'll send some emails see what we can do I just need to get uh, maybe I should try not using my Hotmail account maybe that'd go down better I don't know <laughs> I'll have a think about it <laughs> um, the women's team we were there we were there yesterday moving on um, and I don't know. I feel like whenever I watch um, Birmingham City ladies, I just get like a, a, a really kind of positive feeling about mm. the way the club is going and the kind of attacking play we get. A two, a three-two loss to Man City doesn't really do justice to the quality of play no, it don't, and no. the story of the game. Um, we were two-nil up, so a kind of reverse Ipswich. Yeah, pretty much. But great, like Megan Sargent grabbed a goal. One of the goals for us was lucky. And some of the like, little passing triangles. I'm just out here, like, I'm watching a Birmingham City team. They've got the Blues badge on. That's the key thing. And they're, like, bossing and t- toe-to-toe with a massively funded Man City squad. Yeah. And it makes me very proud, I think. It does. I think I think you pointed this out in your interview with um, Aoife as well. Yeah. Like when she was at the back. Yeah, Aoife Manning. On, under pressure as well. She was just playing it out from the back. Just no, no worry just or stress look at, whatsoever. Looking at the way Aoife Manning plays football, like... I am genuinely thinking that the men's team should be showing training clips of her because in I, I don't know whether it's easier to do this in women's football, but she just feels like she creates more time on the ball. And that is why I keep saying Aoife Manning, future England captain, because she just has this ability to create space that, I, like in any type of football, makes it's it's such a big difference. And Mark's, it's massive. Um, yeah, Mark Skinner's philosophy just fits with it. It, it really does, yeah. Um, and I think on the other side as well, as well. Apart from just being technically, you know, really good and, and calm on the ball, yeah, 
She has the other side of it as well, where she just gets stuck in. Yeah, gets stuck in. She won so many tackles yesterday and, as well. And takes penalties, scores, yeah, scores I mean, loads of penalties for us. Like, what more all, do you all want? All round, she's just fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. As are most, many of the players. So. Yeah, exactly. It's just great to watch. Like, get yourselves down to Solihull Moors. I keep saying this. I think it's like a fiver for entry. If that, yeah. If that. Um, and the uh, crowd was 860 yards yesterday. So, it's, it basically, think of it as a non league match, but with Birmingham City players playing better football than you're used to seeing. And I stand by better football because it's more cohesive it's better passing we give the ball away less and i mean no one's gonna turn around and say that like the men's team are good in that department because <laughs> no y- it's obvious that we're not and we haven't been for a long time and it's just good it's always on a sunday as well isn't it so it's yes not like i it mean it's always, it's always handy there so there's no real excuse why you can't go down exactly think. go down and support and we're in fact I'll, I'll try and look this up do you know off the top of your head where we are on the table now because we were top three we should still three. be joined top because I think Man City are below us they should be on eight points now so I think yeah. they're still third Arsenal should be still top I think that does tell you a lot though yeah dang you're right yeah, Arsenal. Second, yeah. so Arsenal are first at the moment um, and they've played one game less which hey, doesn't look great for us oh well they've scored Take 16 it. goals in three games that's impressive but yeah but it's just great looking at that table Arsenal Birmingham City Man City Reading Birmingham City a Birmingham City team are in the Champions League I don't care that's really cool and if we, we get into Europe it. as well for next season that'd be massive we'll go to the away games I don't care we're going to go away day vlogs yeah in- we're just becoming away Dave Logs because that's what that's, the people want that's a unique angle who goes and covers women's football away. in the Champions League away and we're funny funnier than those oh, other away Dave are, vloggers yeah. absolutely yeah. hilarious like like the time coming um, soon <laughs> like the time I said to Aoife Mannion that she was like David Louise and really overpowered on FIFA but she agreed didn't she, she got it yeah she enjoyed that yeah. so I'll tell you what um, you can listen to our interviews that we've done Mark chatted um, Ben chatted to his boy Mark Skinner, Skinner. who we love uh, here's what Mark had to say about the game. Look, I'm disappointed with the result and more importantly, disappointed with the performance. So, look, I don't think we deserved it. I, I, I don't particularly think Man City deserved it. Somebody talked about control. They got in down the sides. We were a little bit disorganised when we were pressing out from the sides. But apart from that, I just think it's quite a scrappy game, which is shown by the goals. Uh, I think our header was good. Uh, I think the rest of the goals were pretty scrappy. So... No, I'm just I'm just disappointed with the performance, really. But it's always something to learn from. I can choose how you respond to a defeat, and for me, it's always positivity, focus, make sure we get the performances right, and then you have a better chance of winning it. If you get deflected shots in the future, you get deflected shots. That, that that's football. That's why we do it because it's un it's unpredictable. Um, but no, I'm, I'm look. More importantly, I'm going to make sure we get our performances right. That's something I strive for, so they will strive for it too. Great interview. Uh, great interview. Absolutely great interview, if I might say so myself. Uh, and I also caught up with Aoife Mannion to chat about all things uh, music going down in the changing room, as well as the performance in general. And she turned 23 like six days before I spoke to her, which I'm 23, so made me feel bad. Here's what she had to say. Especially to go 2-0 up, we were really disappointed to give away the goals, and especially in the fashion that we did. Um, in some ways we were unlucky, but in many ways we didn't deserve the win today. And that's evident through the three goals that we conceded definitely aware that we're playing a team that we know we need to be at our best to get results and to get points. That said, uh, we come to dominate, especially at Solio Moors, our home ground, and we've got such a good record here. And in the league as well, obviously, we've come into this game with no goals conceded in three games, and we were really hoping to capitalise on that on that feeling and that confidence, and it just wasn't to be today. So, yeah, big up Ethan Manny and big up Bowman City ladies. Birmingham City women. I need to get used to saying that. The rebrand. Yeah, it's hard, it just uh, makes, hard to get used to, isn't it? Honestly, I was of the opinion, like, they changed the name. And there is a big thing at the moment with women's football clubs. They're like, should we change it? Shouldn't yeah. we? I, just, I think it feels right now. So it's the right thing to do. Definitely. Um, and we're going to cap off the Blues cast by, you know, getting you a bit of a funnier lowdown of what's going down at Birmingham City. Which, at the moment, involves uh, a video that was put up on the 28th. We can't just be a Mikhail Forsell fan video although we did retweet so shout out to Mikael Forsell big shout out to Mikael Forsell <laughs> I found a, the picture of him with kittens I tweeted it and he just retweeted us yeah. he just retweeted our podcast we need to sort out that interview I'd fly to Finland to interview Mikael Forsell it's a great, great country yeah. have you been there I've been there yeah did you do any rallying I didn't Mik- Mika Hakkinen so maybe we can do that with so. Mikael Forsell rallying with Mikael Forsell yeah that's and a great you can say, teach me penalties so that'll yeah. be a, we'll, we'll work it out but basically, there's a new video on uh, the Birmingham City Twitter, which involves Jax Magoma going behind the scenes at the training ground. Uh, it, it basically goes down like this. My boots. <laughs> it involves a bit of a, a table tennis off. It's not the boots, mate. It's the size. Ah! <laughs> Jax Magoma's doing, like, the what are those Oi, on the shoes. 
He seems like the Joker in the pack, doesn't he, Jackson McGowan? He's yeah, one of the funniest person out there. Yeah. I'm, I know he's big on his uh, Fortnite as well. Yeah. He's, he's always posting Fortnite clips on YouTube. They're busy laughing at his shoes. Here we go. He's still here. What are you doing? <laughs> Are you still here? This man just sneak around the corner. And this is Shay Adams, isn't it? Speaking. Yeah. Saying, um, well, I've got a few yeah, new mixtape dropping tomorrow. Um, go download that. Yeah, well, well, where can they get that sound? Anywhere. Uh, SoundCloud. I'm a SoundCloud rapper, so. Oh, that's cute. You know how it goes. So we've got the exclusive there. Shay Adams is dropping a mixtape on SoundCloud. Looking forward to that. So, <laughs> the blues cast is centered around these kind of shenanigans. Mysteriously, these are really well retweeted and shared clips it's almost like you know we've had the right idea all along so now we need to just go down interview Shay Adams ask him about his mixtape yeah um, hope they let us do it I would go down to West Hills is this at West Hills this little clip yeah yeah or the, tr- the Trillion Trophy Training Centre right now the Trillion Trophy Training Centre that's amazing um, so there you go this has been the Blues Cast make sure you go to uh, at BCFC on Twitter to see the whole behind the scenes video filmed by Jackson McGomer any, any closing thoughts Ben to I uh, just hope we, the, we uh, win tomorrow against Brentford. Brentford's happening tomorrow. What's your, what's your preview for um, What's your preview, well, preview for Brentford? Preview? I've got a good Brentford stat then. here, which is very uh, uplifting. Yeah, go on, give us the stat. Brentford. I can still, still hear table tennis going on between Craig Garner and Yukovic. <laughs> it's a good little bit, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, Brentford have won their past three championship matches against Birmingham City by an aggregate score of 10 to 1. That's what happens when we sign their players, their best players. They just hammer us every yeah, time. Yeah, because obviously we're just not we can't have nice things although we, can't have nice things. we shouldn't do as bad as last the last away game there we, we lost 5-0 and I went oh, to it which you, was, you went to the away oh, game yeah, it was terrible that's not a good thing with Steve Cottrell though so I mean different days now it's, we, he I, was I'll the one I mean, that was the dark days damn yeah I forgot about that ever think he, I forget. why did we ever think he was a good manager I mean I never did I was down on him for I, day I supported one. him at the start I remember you did yeah and I was like no don't want him <laughs> but we ended up with yeah, Gary right, Monk who's Gary yeah <sighs> wasn't the first time, but you know, <laughs> we ended up with Gary Monk, so great times. Um, that's the Blues Cast. We have got a shiny new logo, shiny new stuff. You can follow us on SoundCloud, and the Forward Factors YouTube will be where our clips are put up as well as Twitter. So yep. make sure you like and subscribe, Low Gang and Jake Blues Gang. W- whether you're a Jake Pauler or a Low Ganger, you're welcome here, as long as you're not Aston Villa fan. Yeah, that's fair. And even if you are and you want to see the air of your ways, that's cool with us as well. Yeah. So, yep, keep right on, everybody.